All right, so uh, Jamon uh, is going to be starting right tackle for the U of L this year. Uh, that's a big transition from last year where you started defensive tackle and then moved back over. How are you feeling right now in your role? Well, you know, I'm feeling good. You know, I got a lot of experienced guys around me that are helping me uh, learn you know, everything I need to learn. And, uh, you know, I think we're, we're doing a good job, you know, as far as camp goes. Uh, we've been working really hard and we're putting stuff together, so we're just going to keep working every day. Gotcha. So, last year, Bruce Irvin was uh, picked uh, first, a uh, first round, and uh, you're, you kind of came into that West Virginia game and gave it two sacks in a row. What's different about Jermon Brown now compared to that Jermon Brown? Uh, I'm more experienced now. You know, uh, coming in against West Virginia, I hadn't really uh, seen too many situations out there in tackle. And of course, you know, Bruce Irvin was a good player and a good pass rusher at that. Uh, Coach Boyd told me that he was probably the purest pass rusher in the Big East. So, you know, I came out there and I, you know, tried the best of my ability to block him, but he got two sacks on me. But, you know, I still hold my head high. He was a first round pick. So, exactly. you know, but I'm. I don't think it'll happen this year. <laughs> is, is one of your goals to sing the national anthem before one of your games? You know, that's a, that's a good question. Um, you know, Anna, she jokes with me all the time. That's our nutrition. She jokes with me all the time. Maybe I should, but, you know, I'm not really thinking about that right now. As, as uh, being promoted to be the starter, you know, my, my focus is just to be focused on the game. And, uh, you know, if it comes down to it and they want me to sing it, I'll sing it. Right. So uh, what is it? What does it mean to you to play for your hometown school? Uh, it means a lot to me. You know, uh, you know, a lot of people had the opportunity to go out of state, which I also had the opportunity to go out of state. But you know, I think it's it's a big deal to be able to play in a, a premier Division One uh, program like like Louisville. And you know, growing up here, I've always been a fan of Louisville. And so, you know, when I got the opportunity, I just went to jump on it. Gotcha. Who is uh, the leader on the team in your eyes right now? Like, who is it that you look up to the most? Um, you know, I can't really say a specific leader, you know, that one person. But, I mean, you know, some of the people that I look up to is on the whole line. You know, I look up to Jay Smith. I look, look up to Mario Benavidez. And I look up to Alex Cupper and uh, John Miller. Mm -hmm. You know, those are some of the guys I look up to because, you know, they really, you know, push hard, work hard. And they also make sure they push me so that they're getting the best out of me. So, you know, I appreciate them. And, uh, you know, just that, those, those who I would say is the leader. Gotcha. Well, man, I hope you uh, have a great season and sing the national anthem and get like 12 pancakes in a game. And oh, that'd be great. All right, man. Hopefully. Thanks a lot. All right. <laughs>